Easy Organizer Suite, the easy to use suite of Management Plus conversion programs. Welcome to the Easy Organizer Suite lesson series for the Easy Threads module. Easy Threads allows you to organize your embroidery threads and convert from one brand to another. Lesson 1 How to Work with Design Charts. This lesson shows how to add, edit, and delete design charts, as well as adding and deleting threads from the design charts. It also shows how to move rows and delete rows in a design chart. A design chart is a chart that contains the information of an embroidery design. It has a picture of the embroidery design and the main information about that embroidery design. It also has the original threads that the embroidery design was designed with and the matching threads for the embroidery design. First, open Easy Organizer Suite. Select Start, All Programs, find Easy Organizer Suite and expand it, then click on the Easy Organizer Suite program. If the module selector opens, click on the Easy Threads icon to open the Easy Threads module. If another module is open, select the modules menu, then select the Threads Organizer module pack, then select the Easy Threads module, or click on the Easy Threads icon in the toolbar. To add a new design chart, select File, New from the menu, or click on the New icon in the toolbar. A new design chart will open in the center pane. To enter information about your design chart, click on the Add button. The Add Edit Information form will open. Enter the information about the design chart. For this lesson, let's use the SWAN 1 free embroidery design from our website at http colon slash slash www.easyorganizersuite.com. Let's enter SWAN 1 in the design name box, free embroidery designs dash swans in the design set name box, clip artopolis in the designed by box and in the company box, 2005 in the copyright box, and this is the first swan in a series from the free embroidery designs on the Easy Organizer Suite website in the notes box. Click on the picture button to open the add image form. Click the browse button to find a picture on your file system. Please note the image must be less than 64 megabytes in size. Once you have found your image, click on the open button. This will bring the picture into the picture form. Click on the OK button to add the picture to the design chart. Now click on the OK button of the Add Design Chart Information form to add the information to the design chart. Now we'll add the threads to the design chart. There are four ways to add threads to a chart. One, enter the thread number or color name in the Find box and press the Enter key on the keyboard. Two, enter the thread number or color name in the Find box and click on the Add Thread to Chart button. Three, Find the threads in the available threads grid and double click on the swatch. Or four, find the thread in the available threads grid and drag the thread to the grid area of the design chart. Let's use the first method, entering thread numbers into the find box and press the enter key on the keyboard. You must select a brand in the available threads panel to display the threads to enter into the design chart. For this lesson, select Madeira Rayon number 40. Now all of the threads for Madeira Rayon number 40 will be displayed in the available threads grid. Here is the list of the threads for our SWAN 1 design. Enter each thread number in the Find box and then press the Enter key on the keyboard. 1001, bright white, 1032, iris, 1075, baby blue, 1309, wild pink, 1065, mango, 1013, Rosewater, 1000, Black. You will notice that as you enter each number of the thread number, the program will highlight the thread that has that number. Once you have entered the entire number, press the Enter key on your keyboard. Now you will see that all the threads are added to the design chart. You should now save your design chart. To save, select File, Save from the menu, or click on the Save icon on the toolbar. The program will open the Save File dialog to allow you to enter the location and the name of the design chart. It will default to My Documents slash My Thread Charts, and the name of the file will default to the name you have entered in the information. Select the file location and the file name, then click on the Save button. Now you have learned how to open a new design chart, 
and add a picture and the main information about the embroidery design. You have also learned how to add threads to the design chart. Now let's move on to editing an existing design chart. To open an existing design chart, select File, Open, or click on the Open icon in the toolbar. The Open File dialog will open. Select the file you would like to open and then click on the Open button. We'll use the design chart that is available on our website for the second free embroidery design, Swan, in the series. The existing design chart will open. In any chart, including a design chart, you can sort the grid by clicking on the column heading. So, if you want to sort the grid by the color column in ascending order, click on the color column heading. If you click it again, the program will sort the grid in descending order. To resize the columns of a grid, hover the mouse over the end of the column you would like to resize until the mouse becomes a resize cursor. Then click and drag the column either to the left to make the column smaller or to the right to make the column larger. When the column is the size you want, let go of the mouse button to accept the new size of the column. When you save the design chart, the program will remember the size you have made the columns. To move threads in the grid, click on the gray row header of the row you would like to move and drag it to the row you would like to move it to. Then let go of the mouse button to drop the row there. To delete a row, select it in the grid, then select Tools, Delete Row, or click on the Delete Row icon in the toolbar. You can also right-click and select Delete Row from the context menu. The program will ask if you are sure. If you select Yes, the row will be deleted. If you select No, the row will not be deleted. Now be sure to save your design chart. Select File, Save, or click on the Save icon in the toolbar. Now you have learned how to edit an existing design chart, including sorting, customizing columns, moving rows, and deleting rows. Now let's move on to deleting an existing design chart. To delete a design chart, open Explorer and navigate to where your design chart file is located. If it is in the default location, then you will find it in My Documents slash My Thread Charts. Right-click and select Delete. The system will ask if you are sure. Click on Yes to delete the file and No to not delete the file. If you clicked on Yes, the file is deleted. This concludes Lesson 1, How to Work with Design Charts. Please view our other lessons for the EasyThreads module of Easy Organizer Suite. Easy Organizer Suite, the easy-to-use suite of Management Plus conversion programs. Please visit us on the web at www.easyorganizersuite.com. Thank you.